Hey guys, and welcome to the Buy and View. Hope you guys are all doing well. In this particular video, we are going to be talking about Vincent Company's press conference. Thank you for the support. I've literally just made a video on the match reaction for uh, the women's game over on TBB Sports. If you haven't already, number one, check it out. And number two, check out that channel uh, after this. There will be a link uh, to it on this. But yeah, big up to everybody. As always, please do smash the thumbs up. If you're going to enjoy, hit the um, damn subscribe button. As always, thank you for the constant support. We're nearly at 4,000 subscribers, so please do if you want to help. Uh, and also, comment, let me know what you think. Check out the socials. You know the rest. You know the rest. Um, but yeah, big up to everybody. Um, I do need to hurry up with this because we do need to go out because today has been a shitstorm, um, to be honest. Um, basically, Mrs. made a cake, uh, and yeah, for some reason the cake crumbled. Um, so then we had to go and remake it. Um yeah, it's it's been it's been a weird day, been a really weird day to be honest. But either way, it is what it is. So yeah, we're going to be talking about the press conference, like I said. Um, obviously, Vincent Company has been speaking um, because obviously we're going to be playing tomorrow, which is obviously going to be uh, against a Frankfurt. We need a good performance. Um, you know, we're away from home in, in itself, so we need we need a good performance without a doubt. The preview will come uh, later tonight. Um, so we'll have a preview out later tonight for you guys. Um, and um, I'm also going to have an FC25 video tonight on TBV Sports. Uh, it's just here. Uh, where is it? Just just there. Um, literally type that in and that is the channel. Or you can wait uh, and um, it will be on the end in the middle of the screen. Let's get into this press conference though. Because um, like I said, I need to hurry up. Um, let's scroll, uh, scroll up. And put that up there just a little bit so you can actually still see me. So... Uh, this is what Vincent Company has had to say. Uh, so Vincent Company on uh, tomorrow's game. Um, he said, playing Frankfurt is always special. Uh, they're a team um, is strong on the counter uh, with many young players and a lot of talent. The club and team, um, the, the club and the team can still grow. But for us, it's uh, as uh, as a normal game. We want to get our points. Carry on in this in the Bundesliga. So basically, just just carry on, you know what I mean? Just keep doing what we're doing in the league, um, which which basically is that we're cooking. Um, so, yeah, I'm not I'm not um, against that. So that, that's one, one thing he had to say. Um, then on whether uh, he feels pressure with the current run um, of tough games, he said, no, uh, I'm only thinking uh, about the next game, uh, the next game, which is Frankfurt. After uh, every game, whether you win, lose, or draw, he doesn't say that, but or draw, uh, the next game is uh, only um, thing that counts. Uh, we can take a lot with us into the next game. That has to be basic for success in the next game. Yeah, basically, what he's saying is that they're not holding on to good performances or bad performances, no matter what it is. It's on to the next game. Get on with it. Let's go. Basically, is what he's saying. Uh, and I, I do agree with that because that is important um, for, for us to do. Because if you if you hold on to certain things, it ain't good. It ain't good. And that's that's just in all walks of life, to be honest with you. Uh, but yeah, on, on the game on the game, you you know, that was a shit performance. We need to build on that now. Uh on Jamal Maziala's entry and whether whether uh injury and whether Leroy Sane could start tomorrow. He said, it's a real pity that Jamal isn't available. We all know how uh, good he is, but at the end of the day, uh, he's a young player and we, we decided it was better for him to get rest and come back 100. Uh, our priority is uh, that he stays fit. We have 100% uh, confidence in all of our players. Leroy is one of them. Um, okay. Does that necessarily confirm that Leroy Sane's gonna be gonna be that player i don't think it does but at the same time like it's it this is gonna sound so stupid but it, it kind of does and doesn't um to be honest with you that that's kind of how i'm seeing it um you know what i mean it, it kind of does but then it kind of doesn't uh so i don't really take too much on it to be honest with you um max herbal then spoke and he said uh on the last two uh winless games said both games leverkusen and villa were games uh that we could have won if we played uh, them more often uh the results uh, were not uh, the reward for the work we did we uh, can't lose uh that game against villa 
Uh, you can't lose that game against Villa. The only thing we can criticise about uh, against Villa was that we uh, were at 95 to 96%. We all have to push ourselves to the absolute limit. Uh, and well, yeah, you as well, you fucking knobhead. Um, he says we have to do the same in Frankfurt. The stakes are high there. Uh, we will f- uh, face a similar similar intensity to the one uh, we faced at Villa Park, which I do agree with. But the fact that he said that we have to do our jobs is like, yeah, mate, shut up. Because you're the you're the donkey that didn't bring in another fucking centre back, dum dum. Uh, company on uh, Hiroki Ito said Hiroki is doing well. He showed his qualities in preseason. Hopefully, he'll be ready soon. One thousand percent. Let's get Ito back. Um, oh, for fuck's sake, why are we talking about Jamal Musiala's future? <sighs> he said, there's not, uh, there was, was not, uh, just one meeting. We're in talks. I'm very confident something is, uh, happening here. And Jamal is noticing that too. He's an, ex- uh, exceptional player. Um, and alongside, uh, Josh, uh, Joshua and a few other players, uh, he should become the face of Bayern. Uh, we told, uh, that, uh, we told we told the player that too. So he's told Jamal basically. And now we are looking uh, at how we can reach an agreement. Uh, I am op- uh, I am an optimist and I see no reason why uh, he should leave Bayern. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, company on the discussions uh, that his style is too risky and whether he's considering being more price pragmatic in some games he said play style is not uh, a word i uh, use often the way we play is pragmatic for me it's not uh, about style when you lose you have to get back up uh, and win the next game that's our goal for tomorrow i don't forget what we achieved in those games basically shut up and piss off is basically what he's saying you know at the end of the day basically what he's saying is you guys don't know shit i know what i'm doing um is basically what i'm gathering uh he said uh, then he spoke about thomas muller and whether he's an option to start for jamal Manziala tomorrow he said let's wait until tomorrow uh we have said that uh we have said many times how important thomas is for this club uh he's a very special he is very special he showed that uh again with uh his goal against freiburg i always make uh decisions uh, to win uh, the game. It's never a decision against a c- certain player, but a decision for another player. Uh, there's uh, always a story uh, about a player who doesn't play. Basically, what he's saying is he's not doing it on purpose. He's not got an agenda against anyone. He's personally just picking what he thinks is best. Then, um, I was asked about Diddy Hillman's recent criticism for Harry Kane. He said Diddy Hillman is... Uh, like uh, a what the f- I don't even know what that is. Tinter Tinterus, what the fuck is that? In the ear, in the ear, it comes up every three days. Raw man, send him for someone. What is it? Uh, the of sound when there is no exterior source, often described as a ringing in the ear. It can also sound like buzzing, roaring, hissing, humming, whistling, or sizzling. Basically, he's just said that he's a pain in the ass. Um, pronounce tin utus, tin I don't know how to fucking say it. Basically, he's just ripped him a new one. Uh, and at the same time, I don't care that did he, did he, um, oh, fucking hell, did he? Jesus Christ, when should we fucking say that out loud? Um, <laughs> But yeah, no, I generally don't care what this guy's got to say. Uh, this guy's a fucking donkey, um, to be honest with you. He talks so much shit. He, it's just another ball, ball bag fucking talking shit. Like at the end of the day, you played for this great club. You want to see this great club succeed? Yes or no? If you do, shut the fuck up. If you don't, keep talking. Because he's going to keep talking. That's how he's making his money. So yeah, whatever. I don't really care about what that fucking no name's got to fucking say. Fuck him. Um, and that's that. So yeah, big up to everybody. Hopefully you guys have um, enjoyed. If you have, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, all of that good stuff. Thank you for the constant support on the channel. Um, yeah, till then, peace out.